Okay, hello everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome. How is everybody doing? What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It is a lovely Saturday. That is correct. Today is Saturday, November 11th, 2017. I am DSP and or Dark Side Phil and or Phil I am. Philium. That's right. That's my new name, Philium. I know you all call me that behind the scenes. No one publicly calls me that. But I know you all call me Philium behind the scenes. I know about this, okay? You can't hide the fact that you do it. All right. Today is a double stream day, as many days have been this week. Um, time for two games. One game I may be finishing, if you can believe it. <laughs> uh, hold on a second. Before I start here, actually, I see that I left my speakers on, which I've been doing every day. Because now what I do on pre-stream, for those who only watch this video on YouTube and you're not here live for the streams, you've been missing out because I play all of my old school music remixes that people used to make for me uh, on the pre-stream now, including things like I Spawn, I Die, uh, you know, uh, Thugs on the Floor. Uh, all the rock remixes that S Beast Music made, and a few, you know, all those those things. Ghost Drone made Cashville 2012. Uh, you know, all these different things that people made over the years, and I play them in a playlist. It's about 17 songs. So every morning here, well, every afternoon here, I guess we play about three before we start the stream, and then when I go on my break, I play them, and uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's something different. People are like, "Wow, this is much better than just listening to the PS4 dashboard music." But as I do that, I leave my speakers on so I can hear it, and I know when the songs end. And then I never turn the speakers down because I forget. So give me one second. Let me just go turn that down. <clears throat> All right. There we go. Okay. So it's November eleventh, twenty seventeen, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. Two gameplay streams for today. Let's talk a little bit about that. Let's get that out of the way. The first stream, Sonic Forces. A game which I started Monday night when it actually premiered. Did a special, uh, you know, Monday night, late night premiere stream. I played it for about two hours, only to find out people were telling me, Phil, are you aware that you're pretty much a third through the game, if not more already? And I was like, what? Yeah, the game is apparently incredibly short. If you just speed run it and play the normal stages you could beat it in about four hours i've heard now i've heard if you go back and you do the challenge stages you know the ones where you got to go back as your avatar and replay them um and also there's a special episode called episode shadow for pre-ordering the game if you play those it's a little bit longer um so we'll see how you know how long today it takes to get through the game i'm looking forward to it. I, i'll be honest with you the game was incredibly easy when I played it on Monday, there were a few challenging things here and there. But for the most part, it did seem overly easy. At the same time, I really enjoyed it. Like, I was having a lot of fun with it. The fact that it has all the characters from all of the Sonic games from the past, like, you know, shit. 10, 15 years, right? And, you know, it's got uh, just this cool element. You know, super fast speed element. you never even seen things moving that fast in a Sonic game before. Uh, however, the stages are super short. You know, they're like, some of them are like three minutes long. And a lot of people could say, well, you know, that's nowhere near good enough for a full retail game. Well, the good news is it's not. It's a discounted title. They sell it for $40 in, in uh, United States, at least. Um, I don't know where the, what they sell it for in other places, all right? But um, that, is the, that is the deal. Uh, I'm going to be playing it today. It's today's stream, about three and a half hours of gameplay. We'll see. If I beat it today, great. Uh, if I don't, well, then I'll be doing it one more stream coming up this week. To finish it up, okay? Tonight, I'll be playing more Assassin's Creed Origins. Two more hours of Assassin's Creed Origins tonight. I'm actually uh, in the midst of the story elements there. I'm actually uh, hunting down the lizard. Trying to find out how the lizard has poisoned the people of Memphis, Egypt. It's a mystery that I'm in the midst of right now. Okay. <clears throat> so, ladies and gents. That is the, the schedule for today, if you're not uh, aware. Okay. Uh, tomorrow, I will be returning to Call of Duty World War II. I have not played it for uh, several days. It was actually, what was it, Tuesday night when I finished the campaign. I did a tiny bit of multiplayer. And the last major multiplayer session I really did was on Sunday of last week. So I figure I'll, I'll do another session. I'll give it a shot because apparently... I do say apparently because I haven't played it again yet, but... 
Sledgehammer Games, the developer of the game, apparently are aware that most people who are playing this game are annoyed as hell that the online connections are not very good. That they are not up to snuff for a Call of Duty level game. People were expecting more. They were expecting better uh, quality connections, not the fact that you go to shoot someone, the game shows you shooting them four times, um, and then you die instantly, and then when you watch the kill cam, the game claims that person shot you four times before you ever even pulled your trigger. Uh, that's not good. Also, there's tons of complaints about things such as there's so many effects in the game that as you're getting shot, you can, there's no way you can win a firefight because as soon as you start getting shot, your camera starts wiggling so much, there's no way you can get aim on an enemy. I agree, that was one of my complaints about the game. It was like, damn, the camera's always shaking. Look, there's a fucking stupid, uh, there's a stupid, uh, uh, what do they call it? Mortar, there's a mortar strike, there's an artillery assault, there's air planes coming in and shooting, and the, the camera's constantly shaking, there's smoke everywhere. Every time I get shot, my fucking camera goes nuts, and there's no way you can win. I agree. So apparently Sledgehammer's been working on this all week, and apparently they patched it, they're claiming... Oh, they're like, oh, change is coming, we're going to fix it. We'll see, tomorrow, all right? That will be my, my main gameplay stream for tomorrow. Um, There will not be a second stream Sunday night because I'll be doing the weekend preview and patron stuff. The patrons have been messaging me all week. I need to get all the information together from what the patrons sent me and send that to my webmaster. In addition, I have a couple private Q&A videos to make uh, this time around, so I'm going to be working on that tomorrow night, okay? So, no second stream tomorrow, but then... This coming week, boom, it's going to be constant coverage of all this new stuff that I've been doing. Uh, Monday will be the return of Mario again, Mario Odyssey, which I played uh, last night and had a lot of fun with, as usual. Uh, that'll be the main stream on Monday, and then Monday night is up in the air only because uh, I'm not sure you know, what's going to happen with Sonic Forces. If I finish Sonic Forces today, all right, then great. If I finish Sonic Forces today... Then Monday night I could continue on with you know something else. If not, then probably Monday night will be Sonic Forces and I'll try to wrap it up. Uh, I currently have a poll going on my Twitter that ends tonight, and the poll is this: What do you want to see me play once Sonic Forces is done? And the choices are Need for Speed Payback, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, The Frozen Wilds, uh, Life is Strange, Before the Storm, Episode Two, or getting caught up on all the Telltale games. Uh, stuff <clears throat> that uh, I am behind on, if you're not aware. In the last month to month and a half that I've been covering all the big AAA releases, all right? Batman, the Telltale series, Season 2, Episode 2 released. Also, we had two episodes of Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, that I didn't play. I just didn't have time. Um, <clears throat> it's actually the conclusion of that game, actually. So... There's a lot going on, all right? There is a lot going on, and I certainly, you know, I, I know I'm getting backlogged, but at the same time, I told everyone I wasn't going to promise that I was going to be caught up with uh, the episodic games. I knew I was going to fall behind, and I told everyone I would just, I would play them once I'm done with all the new releases for this year, okay? And that's kind of the approach I'm taking, all right? <clears throat> so... Yes, the poll is going. From last I checked, I didn't. I, I apologize. I, I admit I did not check it early. You know, earlier on today. But from what I saw overnight, uh, it looked like Need for Speed Payback was narrowly in the lead, with Horizon Zero Dawn's expansion just behind it. They were like neck and neck all night. Uh, I don't know if Need for Speed has pulled far ahead or whatever. I haven't seen it, but um, yeah, that's kind of what people are voting for right now. Now, just so everyone knows, I just want to make this abundantly clear. Just because I'm holding a poll doesn't mean that I have to do it. So, I do appreciate your feedback and your input, but depending on how things go this week with the other games is going to determine, uh, you know, what I actually play this week. Because keep in mind, you know, Monday I do two streams, Tuesday I do two streams. Wednesday I'm only doing one stream because Wednesday's my errands day when I go out and I, you know, I go grocery shopping. And then Thursday... I'm going to be doing one major stream, and then I'm going to be doing a special late-night premiere stream for Star Wars Battlefront 2. And then, much like I covered Call of Duty World War 2 last weekend, um, I'm going to be covering Star Wars Battlefront 2, where I'm going to be doing the campaign, the multiplayer, and balancing out the weekend between the two. <clears throat> so, 
that's the deal, folks. Um, and knowing that, knowing that I'm going to be uh, very busy with Star Wars Battlefront this coming weekend, uh, maybe I don't want to start a new game. You know what I mean? It all depends. We have to see, you know, how long Sonic Forces actually is and if I do finish it today and, and everything in regards to that. So, that's the rough idea what you can expect for the week coming up. It's going to be a very busy week. Ongoing new releases. Uh, you know, Star Wars Battlefront's the new game for the week. I'm excited for that. So, it should be pretty good. It certainly should be a pretty good uh, week. Now... I've been getting a lot of people questioning me, in particular on social media and also here in stream chat, regarding game reviews. They're saying, Phil, where are your game reviews? You're not reviewing games. What's going on? Uh, I made this announcement over a month ago, but I guess a lot of people were not in the know about it and were not or didn't hear it. Uh, pretty much, game reviews for me, formal game reviews, are on hold and or might even be completely gone. All right? And what I mean by that is... Uh, first of all, my game reviews, they don't get a lot of attention on YouTube anymore. It's just that simple. Uh, you know, putting a ton of work into a game review, you know, some, some of these reviews were talking, I was putting upwards of five to eight hours of work in them. You know, every night, I would, two nights, I would work four hours a night to get these done. Um, and they would get like 5,000 views. All right. Now, so that's not the case with all of them. Some of them would get more. Some of them would get like 10 to 15, maybe 20,000 views. But you see my point. Um, I'm putting a ton of effort into them. And they weren't getting a lot of attention, all right? And I don't know what that is. I mean, I've, I've done them on every channel now. I've done them on DSP Gaming. I've done them on the King of Hate Vlogs. I've done them on KO Gaming. So I was putting a ton of time and effort into them, and I wasn't really getting back, uh, you know, the amount that I was putting into it. I very easily could have continued playing new games and releases and stuff on stream and had more fun doing that and got a lot more out of it, all right? That's number one. Number two... Since YouTube decided to demonetize everything on me, all right, yes, that is true, folks. Uh, the YouTube or YouTube has decided, both on my KO Gaming channel and my King of Hate Vlogs channel, that pretty much every video I upload to those channels immediately gets demonetized, and then I have to fight by, you know, telling them to review the video for monetization, and then it takes them three days to re-monetize the video. So you're talking eight hours of work to put out a game review that then I don't even get credit or paid for for three days. And after three days, most people have already watched it. Therefore, I make nothing on it at all. So literally, you're telling me to you know, work eight hours to put out a game review that you make nothing on. I don't think that's a smart idea. <laughs> I'm just saying, ladies and gentlemen, when I started on YouTube, I did it because I wanted to play games and share my hobby with you guys. Now, not to say I didn't enjoy doing edited style videos or game reviews. I do. But it's a lot more fun for me to just sit here and play games and have fun with them and share that experience with you, right? And have a fun interactive stream and do all that stuff than to sit in front of a computer by myself for eight hours editing. It's just not as fun being real with you, okay? Okay, so the point is that there's literally no benefit uh, to doing these reviews anymore. Um, it's just a, a total... And, and by the way... With the way things have been, as I've told you guys, financially how tight things have been, I wouldn't be able to just take eight hours away from live streaming to make a game review. Like for Sonic Forces, right? Sonic Forces, eight hours away. Eight hours to make the game review is longer than the game itself. <laughs> See what I mean? Um, <clears throat> so I've had to stream as much as humanly possible in order to just make ends meet. I can't be taking time away to be doing these game reviews, all right? Um, I'll be honest with you, folks. I was gung-ho for all these game reviews. Even on KO Gaming, even with the with the, the viewership that dipped, I was still full speed ahead. Of, you know, I wanted to keep doing them. And then as soon as YouTube basically demonetized KO Gaming and said the, the channel's uh, red flagged or, or whatever, blacklisted, um, that was it for me. I mean, I was totally de demotivated from even doing them. Because, uh, you know, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous, okay? Um, now, here's the thing. Every time that I play a game, folks, generally, in the final part of the playthrough, I give you my general opinion. Now, I don't give you a score, right? I'm not going to give you a number score, but I give you my general opinion about the game. So if anyone is actually interested about, gee, I wonder how Phil felt about this game or that game, watch the credits roll. Because while the credits roll is when I literally give you my summarized opinion on what I thought about the gameplay of that game. Okay. Um, 
so that's the deal, folks. Uh, that's how it's working. And I apologize for those who maybe are used to the old style where I used to try to review every game. And, you know, things are changing. And I, it sucks. I agree. I wish that YouTube was like it used to be. I wish that we could all make creative content and have fun on YouTube and not have to worry about any of this shit. But it's not the case anymore. Google has literally ruined the, the website, the business. It's, gar it's garbage now. And we all have to sit here worrying about this shit. Uh, as stupid as it sounds, because of YouTube. And they, you know, it is what it is. So, um, you know, that's the deal. You know, I am trying to adjust to everything, right? I w I'm trying to adjust. I'm trying to uh, stay afloat. And that means that there's changes that have to be made. You know, I, uh, if I could find a way to continue doing these game reviews and keeping everything afloat, I would. But right now, that's not the case. You know, it's just not. Yeah, you know, keep in mind what I was doing for a while there um, is I was you know only doing one major stream a day, and then at night I would always do edited content. That was last year, pretty much all of last year. I did one major stream a day, around three to four hours of gameplay, and then I edited all night long. Remember, and that's what KO Gaming took off. And then look what happened, right? <laughs> look what happened. Um, YouTube ruined it. It's really frustrating. For someone like me, especially, I'm a creative person, and I do like doing various things, and I can't do them because YouTube won't let me. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, folks. So, all that being said, I, I apologize. But you know what I mean? It is what it is. Life, life moves on. Life changes. YouTube changes. And now I'm becoming more stream oriented. I want to stream with you guys as much as possible, and that's what I'm doing. You know, um, so there you go. That's the future. All right, everybody. So there you go. There's your answer on that. Um, I'm not saying. By the way, I do want to say this too. Keep in mind the year end stuff is coming. Now I'm not going to be doing as much year end stuff this year as I usually do either. For example, there's not going to be a funniest moments countdown because almost no one nominated funny moments this year. If you go look on the forums, thekingofhate.com, where people usually nominate. There's like maybe two dozen, you know, moments. And most of them were all from the early months of the year. No one really nominated anything this year. So I can't even do a, a fan-voted fan funniest moments because no one nominated enough. But I will be doing the worst games of the year and best games of the year countdown. And that means, guess what? For all these games that I've been playing and haven't been reviewing, you're probably still going to hear my opinion on them in the year-end series that I'm going to do. Okay? Sounds good? <clears throat> okay. All right, folks. Now, let's talk a little bit about what, everything else that's going on. All right. First of all, uh, today, ladies and gentlemen, I hit a new record. Another new record. I've hit 304 uh, concurrent subscribers here on Twitch. That's the highest I've ever had. Okay. 304. That's awesome. If I get, um, if I get 40 more, we'll hit the next category and I'll be able to get another emo. Okay. Um, however, oh my God, excuse me. However, I am well aware of what's going to happen come the 22nd of November. If you're not aware, folks, it was actually the 22nd of October when I held my special stream. Okay. This was a special stream with, uh, with Twitch that I was partnered with them in order to promote extensions. And on this stream, we were playing Choice Chamber together. You guys were clicking on the screen using this special interactive extension and everything. And one of the things that was able to be interactive in the game is if you subscribed to my channel during the time, I would get a little uh, a little widget gadget thing that would help me in the game. Well, I gained a good 40-some subscriptions that day. That's the most I've ever gotten in one day, besides the day when I came back to Twitch, when a, a ridiculous influx of people came back and subscribed, okay? Uh, so that being said, I know what's going to happen is that come the 22nd of October... Um, on the 22nd of October, uh, they're all going to be bloop, gone because most of the people who did subscribe on that day, uh, on the 22nd of October were doing like Twitch prime subscriptions. They weren't doing the renewable style. Okay. So I'm enjoying this as, as it lasts, but I know we're going to get a dip. What I'm hoping is maybe I can organically by the end of the year, get those subscribers back. Um, right now, 304 is the highest I've ever had, which is awesome. And I'd like to keep doing this and, uh, you know, keep growing and growing and growing. 
You know, the emotes are pretty awesome. I just added the DSP Pepe emote as designed by Popsicolo. Okay. So you should definitely check it out. All right. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of benefits to being a subscriber. Take a look at um, the cheer badge, or the cheer badge, excuse me, the chat badges for those who are subs, those little crowns. You got the bronze crown, that's a three-month sub. The silver crown, that's a six-month. The gold crown, excuse me, I screwed that completely up. The bronze crown is just a new sub. The silver crown is the three-month sub. The gold crown is the six-month. And then some people have just gotten the ruby crown, ruby jeweled crown which is for the 12-month, one-year sub, which was just made possible because it was one year ago, here in November, when I returned to Twitch after a two-year hiatus streaming on YouTube, right? So, good stuff, right? Please consider uh, subbing. It helps me out, all right, folks? And you get stuff for it, too. Um, all right, in addition to that, this month, folks, my Patreon, big Patreon drive is the same as usual, $1,125 if I can raise that on Patreon, all right? Uh, if I raise that, I will be doing a special celebratory holiday Christmas uh, gaming event where you guys who pledge five bucks or more to my Patreon will be nominating and voting on bad holiday-themed games for me to play in a marathon-style setting, and I am going to be drinking, I'll be dressed up, I'm going to try to find a really ugly Christmas sweater and everything for this event, and I'm very much looking forward to it. I love the holidays. I would absolutely positively love to do this event but we've got to hit the funding goal this month folks so i want to say thank you to those who have pledged because some people have already and said wow well, let's get on this uh there's 19 days left in the month for you to pledge to make this event happen i mean this is gonna be awesome i have not drank during a, a, a stream like this in quite a long time <laughs> okay so please check it out uh consider pledging uh, you know, to my Patreon, patreon.com forward slash darksidephil. Keep in mind, it's not only about that monthly goal. You also get personal perks. Like, for example, you can get text or verbal, verbal thank yous in my videos. Uh, you get premium forum access and able to participate in voting and nominating on these monthly events. You also get, uh, as a perk, the ability to get your question answered for sure on my bi-monthly Q&A show, Ask the King, which, by the way, will be taking place right before Christmas this year. I think it's the 22nd? 21st, yes, December 21st, it's happening this year, um, well, the only, the first time I'm ever doing a holiday edition of Ask the King, so, good opportunity to get your question answered, or, you get a private Q&A video for yourself, around 15 to 20 minutes or longer in length, uh, I'm actually filming a couple of those tonight, from the October patrons, so, please consider pledging if you have not, that money goes towards lots of fun stuff, including improving everything around here, uh, you know, all these so soundproofing foam, the microphone, and everything that I use were bought with patron funds. I just bought a new controller last month, and by the way, I need to buy new headphones. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to probably buy them during the Black Friday sale at Best Buy, where there's a ton of money off of everything. Um, so yeah, so all that helps, guys. All right? Then there's my Teespring, where I just launched this new line of product uh, not even a week ago. And as you see, it's all new designs designed by uh, fan and viewer Dean Jones. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, anything you buy off of my Teespring shop gives me a pretty sizable commission and helps me out. In addition, it's not just about shirts. You know, there are shirts, but there's also women's shirts, hoodies, sweaters, mugs, stickers, pillows. There's a ton of merchandise available uh, on the Teespring shop. So please check it out. And I actually have just ordered a sweatshirt. It's the only sweatshirt I've ever ordered from there. I have all t-shirts, but I never ordered anything heavier. So I just ordered a sweatshirt. It should be coming sometime next week. I will be modeling it on stream for you guys and gals so you know exactly what, what uh, you're looking at. Now, I must warn you. I must warn you. If you are looking to get something for Christmas, because I know some people will. They're like, oh, Christmas is coming up. Let's get a Christmas gift for someone or whatever. You must order at least a couple weeks ahead of time because it takes them about a week to print everything and then a week to ship and get it to you. So with a minimum of two weeks lead time between when you order and when you get it, you're probably going to want to order stuff by early December in order to get it for Christmas. So I'm just throwing that out there. That's what anyone, someone orders a week before Christmas. It doesn't come till freaking January and then they're pissed off. Uh, there is lead time. Okay. <clears throat> All right. All right, folks, and then, of course, if you are loving the stream, 
if you want to participate. You can either cheer, sub, or tip. If you do any of those things during the course of the stream, I'm going to give you a verbal shout-out. Now, keep in mind, I can't exactly do it during crazy-ass, fast-paced, insane gameplay of Sonic Forces. But during the, you know, between times, the cutscenes and all that, that's when I'll give you your shout-outs. In addition, if you cheer 50 bits or more, if you subscribe to the channel and click the share button after you subscribe, or if you tip me $2 or more, you'll get an on-screen pop-up notification to thank you for your contributions as well. All right? Um, yeah, I really do enjoy doing that. Okay? Um, so, with that being said, folks, let's go ahead and let's actually do some shout-outs here today on the stream. Sound good? All right, let's do it. Let's go all the way down here. First of all, it was Ratchet Fan who started off today with a $5 tip. Thank you, Ratchet Fan. And he said, I walked all the way to work only to find out I didn't have to be there until 3. Laughing out loud, well, at least I get to be here for the stream for an hour or so before I have to leave. That sucks. But you know what? This answers our question because yesterday we were wondering. Remember you said you only had a three-hour shift if you live close to your job. And if you're walking to your job, the answer is yes, you do. So thank God. You don't have a job where you're working like two-hour, three-hour shifts, but you have to drive like an hour to get there. Oh, my God. That would be terrible. <clears throat> that would be terrible, but you know what? If you live in the United States, jobs are scarce in a lot of places, so people are willing to do that shit, as crazy as that sounds. So, All right. Thank you for the tip, Ratchet fan. Shout-out to Cobra Strike 9 who did 100-bit cheer, and he said, Saturday stream hype. Yes. Saturday double stream hype. I actually have completely changed my schedule around, because if you guys remember, I used to do my errands on Saturday. And I remember, I, I realized, I said, why am I doing that when Saturday is a weekend day when I know Saturday probably potentially could be my busiest day for streaming? You know, most people don't have school or work um, on the weekend, and therefore I should be doing a full streaming day on Saturdays. So I changed my schedule up so that Wednesday would be the day when I do my errands, and now Saturday is the day when I do, you know, major streaming. So there you go. Shout out to Eternia Forever. He did a 150-bit cheer. Thank you, sir. And he says, forget about putting a ton of effort into reviews. Sit on your couch and do 15 to 20-minute thoughts and reviews on a game. Put that up on YouTube, old-school style, with no gameplay in the review. And there you go, problem solved. Well, here's the thing. Even that, like, I was, I was going to do that. <sighs> no lie. In early October, when I started playing the new releases, Shadow of War, Evil Within 2, South Park, when I started playing those games, that was my intention. And then you saw what happened. I got backlogged. Like, I got so backlogged. Even just playing those games without doing any reviews whatsoever, I became massively backlogged, and I've never caught up. Let's face it, I didn't. I never. I haven't been caught up. Um, I'm still behind. So even with that being an idea of something that I would do, I haven't had time to do it. Now, I'm not saying that I maybe won't do that moving forward, but I need to get caught up first. Maybe what I should do, since already this year you know, is almost coming to a close. Maybe what I should do is just focus on the streams, play the games, and then in the Game of the Year awards, you know, make that serve as, like, the reviews of the best and worst games of the year. And then maybe starting next year, <clears throat> as I play new games, do the, those short-style spoken word reviews. We'll see. We'll try to figure it out. Okay. Shout-out to Darth Radovan Viking, who did 151-bit cheer, and he says, I wish you were like you used to be. Well, you know what, Viking? You know, we all think that way, right? I, I wish I was younger. I wish I wish I still had the energy and the, I, I mean, I'll be honest here, the kind of almost positivity that I had when I started making YouTube videos. Because back then, keep in mind, first of all, I had an office job, right? For me, the YouTube videos were just a hobby. So I didn't care what happened with YouTube. Who cares? It's just a hobby. It's just me fucking around, right? And then when I started doing it for a living in 2011 for the first time, um... It was a whole new world of opportunities. That was the time period when it was in, I was getting insane views. No matter what game I played, I was getting 20, 30, 40,000 views a video, right? Um, I was making ridiculous amounts of money. That first year was nuts, okay? And I never expected in my wildest dreams that I'd be able to just play video games on YouTube and, and then have enough money not only to pay all my bills and pay off all my debts for my previous life, I like to say, because it really does feel like a different life at this point, but to be able to go to conventions and to have people who actually wanted to come out and meet me at conventions and shit like that. It was so wild. It was so different. And I called it the wave of positivity, right? But like all things, you know, they, they, they can't last forever. And eventually what happened was, you know, YouTube changed a ton. 
and made it very difficult for someone who made videos in my style to be successful when they're changing their algorithms and, you know, everyone else started making edited style gameplay instead of raw, which is what I wanted to do. And, you know, various factors over the years. Um, but, you know, you're right. You know, now I'm older. I have all these financial constraints now that I certainly did not have back. That was the thing. Back then I lived in Connecticut in this fucking tiny condo. And I didn't have a lot of financial responsibilities at all. It was more just me just pay the condo. That was it. Um, you know, now things are way different. And, you know, stressful, uh, admittedly. For me to keep doing this, it's been very tight and everything. And, you know, it would be nice to be able to wind back the clock and, you know, maybe say, okay, do this differently, do that differently or whatever. Or, but that's life. And, you know, I am who I am and it is what it is and we are where we are. And at least, at the very least, I'm able to still do this the way I'm doing it, right? <clears throat> Even with all the hardships that we faced, I'm still able to be here daily and sharing these experiences with you guys live. And, yeah, it's, it's an amazing thing. It's an amazing thing to think of all the shit that I've been through. The laundry list of shit that I've weeded through. And I'm still here and able to do this, you know, daily with you guys. It's pretty awesome, right? All right, let's continue. Shout out to Dooley, who did a 200-bit cheer. Thank you, Dooley, for the cheer. Shout out to Hey Boss Posse, who did a 700-bit cheer. He said, thugs on the floor. We got thugs on the floor. And he became the cheerleader for today's stream until Eternia Forever apparently challenged him and said, ha ha, Viking thought he had the top cheer, and now he doesn't. So then Viking did a 701-bit cheer, and he said, here you go, Eternia Forever. So there you go. <laughs> All right, shout out to Gramanazzi, who did a 30-bit cheer. He says, I really don't care about crowns or emotes. I'm glad to have an interactive stream and happy to support with what I can for years of entertainment. Thank you very much, Gramanazzi. Shout out to Haseo. Uh, it's actually Haseo X4, who did a 10-bit cheer. He says, Phil, thanks always for providing great content. Keep it up. It's turning forever did another 10-bit cheer and said, Dean Jones ain't that... Oh, my God. Whoa, excuse me, everybody. <laughs> That was not intentional. That came out of nowhere. All right, let's try that again. Attorney of Forever did a 10-bit cheer. He says, Dean Jones, and think the guy that starred in the Herbie movies in the 60s and 70s. I would not know. I think I saw maybe one of those when I was a kid, but I have not seen a Herbie movie in quite some time, so I could not answer that question for you. Shout out to Ornites, who did a 10-bit cheer. He says, how's the climate in Seattle, Washington? I need a double layer of clothing today because it's suddenly colder in Brooklyn. Um, it is cold. It is uh, between the 30s and 40s. It might have warmed up a little bit today. I'm not sure. But the past few days it's been in the 30s and 40s. Hasn't been freezing temperatures. But it's been on the colder side and we've been getting lots of rain. Um, <clears throat> and that's, that's pretty much par for the course for this whole season. Like almost the entire season of both fall and winter. This is kind of the temperatures we get. There are some... Uh, situations where it gets colder and we'll get snow, but we have a very moderate climate here. Um, yeah, I did hear that certain parts of the country finally this week have kind of been hit with a cold snap. Some places are getting snow, which is crazy. It's only November. That's not even the winter yet, and they're getting snow, but um, yeah, it's finally here. The weather has turned pretty much everywhere in the United States. Uh, the summer, the fun summer months have finally ended in November. Well, I mean, technically they ended in September, but for some people they they lasted a little bit longer there. I know because it was hurricane season. A lot of people were getting hurricanes constantly and stuff. But looks like it's over. All right, shout out to Eternia Forever. He had another twenty five bit cheer. He says, "Boggles my mind that it was three and a half years ago that you moved." Wow, time flies. I know, I know. Can you believe that I have been here in Washington State, living here for three and a half years? I can't. I mean, seriously, time flew by for me anyway. Um, to the fact, to the point where you know, you start thinking about holy shit. It's 2014. It really feels like I just left. It does to me. It feels like I just left. I'm not even kidding you. I know for some of you, you guys are fans that just started watching the past few years, and you might say, "Well, what do you mean?" Well, I used to live in Connecticut. All the stuff I used to do was in this little one room condo in Connecticut. And, you know, the, the old footage you see of me sitting on the brown couch and stuff, that's what that is. And, uh, you know, it was a life-changing thing moving across the country the way that I did. 
and it really does feel it, it feels different being here and I love it I lo by the way this literally is where I want to be like for the rest of my life if I could live here in this area for the rest of my life I would not want to move everything the, the moderate climate uh everything that I want is within reach literally I jump in the car and I could drive five minutes and reach anything I need groceries electronics the mall the movies a, a video arcade restaurants you know, clothing, stuff, anything that I would need. Look, there's farmer's markets. There's, you know, food and stuff. Pumpkin patch. So much shit is just in this area. I'm in this very nice area. Um, but on the flip side of that, there's less people than there were where I came from on the East Coast. Um, and, you know, that's why, you know, for me, with all the stuff going on behind the scenes and me being worried that I may have to sell my house and move back to the East Coast, why that would be such a defeat for me. Because this is literally where I want to be for the rest of my life. If I could stay here for the rest of my life, I would be perfectly happy living here. Um, and I don't know if that's going to be possible, sadly, because of the situation. But we'll talk more about that when I have more info. I don't. I still don't. Okay. Uh, but yeah, three and a half years I've lived here. I moved. It was J June, late June of 2014. <clears throat> it seriously feels like it went by like that in the blink of an eye. It's been so fast. <laughs> And shout out to Hey Boss Posse who did a 1,000 bit cheer. Thank you, Hey Boss Posse. I appreciate that, man. And he says, do a Boston accent, Phil. A Boston accent. Um, let's see. The, only, the the best way to do the Boston accent is to think about that uh, commercial that Time Warner Cable. Was it Time Warner Cable that did it? Or was it DirecTV? They had the Hopper. Hey, you can watch all that on the Hopper. It was the stupid cable box. That they called the hopper. And I guess what would happen is you could record in one cable box. And if you had multiple cable boxes in your house, you could watch what you recorded on one cable box on all of the cable boxes. <clears throat> but I haven't done a Boston accent in a million years, dude. <clears throat> I could not I could not do let me put it this way. If I heard someone saying a Boston accent, I could pick it up easily, but I haven't heard one in a long time, being that I've been out here. <laughs> so, you know. Oh, you know what? It's the Mark Wahlberg accent. You gotta watch like Wahlburgers, and then you, and then you'll freaking pick it up again. But I haven't, I haven't seen that show in a million years either. So, all right. Shout out to Attorney of Forever who did another fifty bit cheer, and he says, "Have your parents ever thought of moving out to Washington or somewhere else? You think they'll be in Connecticut? Nah, they're gonna be in Connecticut forever. At this point, um, you know, I don't talk about my parents that much anymore. Almost never because, uh." Now that I moved out here, you know, they're not really a part of anything. You know, I talk to them every week, by the way. I do. I still call them every week, keep them in the know about what's going on with me and everything. And I, you know, I hear them. They're getting older. They're getting, they're having health problems. But I mean, when you get older, that's what happens, right? As you get older, you're going to have health problems. Um, So, you know, they're having all these problems. And at one point they were considering that maybe they would want to move to Washington State. And then they had all these reasons. They talked themselves out of it. And my dad actually wanted to move to Maine at one point, but now my dad's having health issues, and so it's more than likely they're probably going to be where they are for the rest of their lives, and, uh, you know, it is what it is. For them, you know, they, they ha it's the, di the difference here is that they had opportunities to leave. They actively chose to stay where they were, okay? They didn't have to stay in Connecticut. Um, they had the ability to leave and do what they wanted. And they decided to stay. You know, me, I was stuck in Connecticut, literally, for years and years. I didn't want to be there. I did not like living in Connecticut. I hated it. The weather, the taxes, the people, everything. I just did not like it. Um, and my whole life, I was like, I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here. And now that I'm in Washington, I do feel more, way more at home here than I ever did in Connecticut. Um, so that's why I'm happy that I got out of there. You know, it sucks because it put me in financial troubles, but... Uh, at least I'm in somewhere where I'm happy, you know, at least for the, at least for the, the short term where I am here now, at least I'm happy being here, you know. All right. Shout out to Tana Mounter who did a hundred bit cheer. I think we're finally done with the shout outs. Holy crap. But it's fine because everyone says this game's so short, I'm probably going to beat it early anyway. So I don't think it really matters that we went long on the shout outs. Um, all right. I think we've pretty much... Uh, settled in. I think we're ready to start with Sonic Forces. What do you guys think? Are we good? Anything else anyone else want to say? 
No, we're good. <laughs> oh, Turning Your Forever did another 50 bit cheer. He says, If this game ends way before 5 p.m. your time, any plans on playing something else? Well, I mean, what would you want to see? What could I possibly do? The problem is, I can't play any of the other games that I'm doing ongoing playthroughs of because that's not fair to those who want to see that as an ongoing playthrough on stream because I didn't tell them I'd be playing it. You know what I mean? <laughs> um. Then again, I don't know how early I'll beat it because people were saying the game's about four hours long if you rush it. And I'm not rushing it. You know, I'm going back. I am doing the optional stages and trying them out. And I still have the episode Shadow to play as well. So I think I'll have enough to fill the stream. I do. Okay. Oh my god, I can't stop burping. What is going on? The Eternity of Forever says Modern Warfare Online. I don't have that on my PS4 anymore. I deleted that a long ass time ago. All right, folks. All right, let's get started with Sonic Forces. Let's see how this wraps up, okay? I thank you for being here. Hope that you enjoy the stream. Thank you already, everyone, for your contributions. You guys are awesome. And uh, let's get the show on the road. Sound good? <clears throat> All right, let's do it. 